And then yeah, here, if you see, Diana. if you see here, so you're getting the kill, which is amazing. And what should we do right here after we get a kill? I, I should have flashed right here. Yes, flashed and then run. And then run so like, because I got the speed boost, right? Yeah. Exactly, and you can just you can just so if you turn back or try to kite, I mean you have to stop yourself, which means they close the distance and they kill you. Hey guys, for those who don't know, my name is Bizai and I'm a Challenger League of Legends coach. I have over 2,000 of hours on individual coaching and I have plenty of students that climb from bronze or silver all the way up to diamond. Remember that the content that you are watching right now is a personalized, high quality coaching session that you can only get from me. If you want to get better and climb League of Legends, feel free to add me on Discord and book your own private coaching session. What are you waiting for? The link is in the description. Good. Tell me, how do you carry a game on AD carry? Like, what are the most important things? What are your priorities? I'm pretty much trying to get a resource until I get, like, three items, and then I, uh... And then you try to play... Like, the whole time I'm trying to get resources, but I'm really, like, just trying to auto-farm until I get three items, and then I try to, you know, help out a little more. True, true. So getting items, good. Farm yeah. out, like, IFK farm until you get your power spec, good. Perfect. Yep. Not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So, what about this game? So, you play Jinx. Tell me more about Jinx. Uh, Jinx... Uh, but she scales when she gets kills, which is good, I guess, right? True. She gets True. the True. attack speed. True. Um, you know, she switches between her cannons and minigun, so the cannon has more range, so you can try to... Bull, not bully, but you can try to like push them out of the wave almost, or the true. lane. True, true, so you can push, so she's okay at pushing, okay, she has good scaling. Yeah. What about the early yeah. game? Is she, is she a bad champion early? Uh, well, like, sh like level 1, I don't think she's the best, because she doesn't really have an, like, she has the cannon, but it's not much of an ability, right? Like, it's not like an MFQ or something like that, or like a Caitlyn. True, so it's, true, true. It's, it's not the best, but I, I think she holds her ground. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So level 1, she has the little tempo, so she has pretty good attack speed. Usually Jinx is actually not that bad in the early game, especially if she's going to be placed there with uh, an engaged support. Because when you have, you know, Blitzcrank, Trash, Nautilus, uh, just your ability of putting your champers, uh, placing yeah. your champers on the hook is like giving you a pretty big easy. agency. Okay. So Jinx is okay. In, Jinx is very good in lane, especially with engaged support. With, you know, Lulu, Janna, Nami, with those kind of support, well, she's okay, but she's not the best in the world. Okay. okay, so we have Jinx and we have Lulu. You mentioned the, the how hard she's skating. What about MF? MF has the, the Q that bounces. True. Um, if she if she kills a minion and hits you, it does, like, bonus damage. True. So you True. gotta be pretty careful with that. Her E, she, she like, slows you, right? It, True. Um, she's True. not, she's not much, like, she's like, what, she's like a bully, right? Like, in the lane, True, like, she's, she's not... a bully. Yeah. She, like, early game, she wins. Yeah. So, you are better late game, and she's better yeah. early game. Yeah. So, this is basically what I need to know about the champions. But what about the Lulu? Lulu, what about Lulu? Lulu's pretty good, right? She's, uh, she's got the shields and polymorph and stuff like that. True. True. So, is she a good champion in early game, or? Uh, yeah, I think she's pretty solid. Exactly. So she's pretty good in the early game. Uh, right here, it's. It's just be... um, like, is there somewhere um, I can look this up so like I know? Because I, I'm just going off experience. Like it's like, oh yeah, I've had a Lulu early. Like how do you, like I guess you have so many hours of or so many years of experience that you know who's weak and strong. Yes. So um, usually, if you want to look at that, well, there is no website or there is no. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah. you can try to download. Uh, so let me think. I think it's called face check. That that can help you a lot. But I think it's okay. going to it's going to screw your it's game up. Right? It's it's okay. just experience, and that the flat experience is just more valuable. Uh, okay, so I I will make this analogy with you. So you being experienced and just getting flat experience by playing compared to uh you know just watching a website that tells you okay this champion yeah. is good. It's like you are trying Playing to back better. Yes, yeah, yeah. it's so low better. So it. it's like you're va you're trying to vaccinate yourself. Uh, with whatever whatever vaccine and you want to protect yourself from getting the, the virus and then I had the virus and I have natural um, immunology like my natural immunology can't be comparable with your like your yeah. uh, prevention yeah, yeah. of vaccine that's that's the same analogy like flat experience is 
much better than just reading some on the websites. Much gotcha. better and more valuable on the long term, on the short term, both of them. It's going to be harder to get because you need to play more. But usually you want to think about the champion. Hey, Lulu, she has a shield, she has a Q. Okay, so she has a shield, she can play defensive. She has a Q, she can play offensive. Okay, what does she do? So, okay, in the early game, she can poke. She has pretty good damage. And in the late game, she has the ultimate, so she can protect people. Okay, MF. MF is very good in the early game because she's, she's a bully. She has the Q. She's very bad into tanks. Like those things, you're going to know them uh, if you think about their abilities, but also if you get experience in the game and if you try to play more and more and more and more. Okay, so what's our goal right now? So we play against MF Pike. What's their goal and what's our goal here? Like the on? Mm -hmm. Yeah, early one. Yes, we're talking about the first so 10 minutes. I guess uh, Pike's goal is to kill me, right? And True. Yes, yeah, so they need to they need to kill you because they play around early game. The reason why you they need to kill you hard in early is because you're outscaling. So if this game goes 20, 25 minutes plus, they lose. So if okay. you are 0, 0, 0 at 20 minutes, they lose. Being oh, even okay. with Jinx is losing. Being it's, even okay. with Vayne is losing. Being even with Kogmo, Jinx is losing. Uh, is losing for the enemy team. If you play the okay. scaling, the, the jinx, you yeah. just being even, just not dying, and farming, of course, because if you don't farm, don't get money, mm -hmm. is, is super good. So they need to kill you. So how can they kill you? Uh, with the Q, with both Qs, um, Pike's ultimate, right? It's... True. But what's the trigger until level 6? Or until level 5? What's the trigger of the lane? Uh, minion? But... How, how can they engage on you? Oh, how can they engage his Q? Exactly, his Q. the Pike yeah, Q. Yeah, so yeah. how can you dodge yeah, yeah, yeah. that? Uh, how can you dodge it? Side, side stepping. It's true. Flashing if I have to. True. Um, yeah, I guess. So that, you can side step. You can, you can, you can, yeah, you know, yeah. uh, dodge it. And there is one more yeah. reliable way that you can, you can dodge that. Uh, you can sit know, behind of the minions. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, yeah, yeah. and that's not going to really take any any resources from you. It's going gotcha. to be. Like pretty pretty easy to, to do that. Okay, good. So avoid the hook. Play safe in the early game because they are they have a good early game. Let's see how you played this one. Your runs are very good. Right. I already checked them. Let's take a look. Okay, so by the way, if you play against big tanks, so if you play against tanky tanky enemies, yeah, it's good to take this uh, cut down. I don't know if you know what it does, but it's basically going to do more oh. damage into tanks. Okay. So right now you play against Ilaoi, so you should instantly take it. If you play against one tank like Ilaoi, uh, Sion, you know Sejuani, or Mu, mm -hmm. Chogat, anything, you should instantly take it. If they are, okay. if they don't have a tank, then this is better what you're taking. Go to ground. Okay. But right now they have okay. two tanks, and you go for that. So that's why, if you remember, I remember exactly what you told me. You told me, hey, I couldn't kill the Ilaoi. So that's yeah. why. That's why yeah, because we didn't shit. get the. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how you play in the lane. So you go in the lane, and you try to uh, push I'm the lane. To push, push. Yeah. Okay, okay. The concept is good. The execution is bad. But let, let, I like that the concept is good. I can work on the execution. So first of all, okay. right now, you have a huge advantage at the UO. But what's that advantage? So you already have I'm, an advantage. I'm in lane. I'm already in lane. Exactly. And they're not, right? Yeah. Exactly. You're not leashing, so you're in lane. Beautiful. Yeah. So right now, we can get level 2 advantage. The thing is, right now, when you go in this lane, we have two options. We can push, 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 and you can move this wave into the tower, or we can hit yeah. the minions a few times and then get control of the wave, make sure we get level to advantage, and then pressure them. Okay. Which one is better? Pushing hard probably, or slow pushing? No, nah, probably the second one. Exactly, Trying because if you push yeah, hard, if you, if you push hard and you push this wave into the tower, I mean, okay, you get level to advantage, but I mean, you can't dive them at level two, you can't no, on, yeah. so it's, it's impossible. So then when you're pushing right here, you don't want to push too fast. So what you're doing right here, Yes, theoretically you wanna push you wanna push, but you don't exactly want to push, you want to control the lane. Okay. So in this situation, what you should have done is that you should simply hit a few a few minions, different minions, in just a few That's times. So yeah. should hit three three times, but I usually do I do it three times and I hit different minions. Because if you hit only one minion, for example, the minion is going to die and then you're going to make the wave push. You don't wanna push. Okay. Remember you wanna control the wave. So what I will do, I will hit this minion one time, but not with the long gun. I'll hit yeah. this minion one time, minion hit this minion one time, and then hit this minion one time. And then I will stop. Because if you hit the, the different minions three times, then you got the control of the lane. And if you did that, okay. then you can get level to advantage. Right now you're trying to push, but I mean, right now you're pushing so hard. And that you see that you killed the minions, and because you killed this minion, this minion stopped focusing this minion. 
So this means instead of MF losing this minion, you killed the enemy minion, which means this creep didn't really have the chance to kill the, the MF's minions. Uh, uh. So right here, not only that you pushed and you, you don't have a chance to, to abuse level 2 advantage, but you also give her free form because you're yep. pushing right now. Super important. So don't push too fast. Very, very important. Okay, so you get ganked here. Okay, they oh, flash yeah, on you. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's talk about this. Okay, good. Level 2 king. Okay, no problem. Let's see how you can play it. What skin is this, by the way? Is this a skin? Oh, that's the arcane, yeah. The oh, arcane, arcane. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so right now, Alistar is here. Yeah, so usually, if you don't know where is the jungle, obviously, you need to expect him as being behind you. You can't replay really to aggro. Uh, but right now, again, it is what it is. Let's see how you play this mechanically. So first mistake right here. So the thing that I like, I like that you're trying to stay behind the minions. I like yeah. that you are playing with the minions. This is I'm trying. Yeah, that's what I tried to do. I tried to play with the minions there. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. I don't like that you're actually using the the long gun to to use to yeah. hit the bike because long gun is for range and in early game long I'm gun is range, right? Yes, yep. yes. Long gun is used in early game just particularly to push the wave. You don't want to go gotcha. into a fight with Longan. Gotcha. So here, Longan is bad. In addition to that, right now, trying to kite. Trying to kite. In addition to that, right here, you should instantly heal. Instantly. But why? That's my question. So I healed right away because I didn't want him to ignite me. Exactly. Exactly. Because yeah. here, trying to use the heal, but I mean, you didn't ignite it, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. So if you heal before they ignite, and then if you use the potion... And you flash away instantly, you're going to escape okay. and get a kill. Oh, and you're okay, okay. You're okay. two versus three. And this is just amazing. So if you can kill them, they are going to be so tilted, man. Like if you, if, if I <laughs> gank someone and the guy gets a kill and I don't kill, I'm just tilted. And then yeah, here, if you see, that, if you see here, so you're getting the kill, which is amazing. And what should we do right here after we get a kill? I, I should have flashed right here. Yes, flashed and then run. And then so run, right. because I got the speed boost, right? Yeah. Exactly, and you can just... you can just so If you turn back or try to kite, I mean, you have to stop yourself, which means they close the distance and they kill you. So you should yeah. just particularly only focus on running. But right now, if I analyze your body language... Boom. You stop and you yeah, try to get by. Is so, it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 looking at it now, it's like, oh, I could have lived. But in the moment, I was like, okay, I'm just going to try to bait myself so Lulu can get away. Okay, but so that was the thought Watching process. it now, watching it now, it's like, okay, I could have lived. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, the mistake was the heal right there. Overall, it didn't yeah. play it bad. didn't play it bad. Okay, good. Let's see what you're going to do right here. So you're trying to push. Good. The itemization is good. Beautiful. Did you play other games as in CSGO, Call of Duty, or any other games? Just call, yeah, just Call of Duty. Yes, because you're, and... you're, you're pretty good mechanically. Oh. That's, okay, that's good. I like it, I like it, I like it. <laughs> okay, good, good. So very, very good positioning. I like it. It's nice mechanics. So usually I like that you go for level two. Uh, you go level, W at level two because you have Lulu yep. and you want to poke. But if you have a trash or if you have someone goes in, going you for E is better. E? Yes, sure. 100%. Okay, pushing, 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 pushing. That's fine. That's fine. Master is around you. That's good. Pushing, 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 pushing. So right here, is there any any reason why you're pushing? Do you remember this? Uh, let me see what's going on here. Uh, no, I probably should have let them push. Now looking at True. it, because it's easier. True. So you should. So in fact, yeah. In fact, when you play when you play the carry, you should only push if you're looking to a go on the river and help your teammates, or b go recall. Only in those two situations you just want to push hard. Because the thing is, if I'm MF right now and Jinx is pushing me, I can get, just get free farm. But if I keep the wave here and Jinx is... Like, if I keep the wave here as Jinx and I try to zone the MF, she's going to lose farm. Like, right now, if you just push, you just push this minion in the tower, I mean, the MF says, thank you for the free farm. I get free farm. Yeah. But if you keep the wave yeah. here, she'll have to overextend in order to get the minion. So then you can just uh, punish. Yeah. yeah. Make so, feel uncomfortable. You should all only look to push if option number A, you want to go on the river. Let's say he does Drake. Of course, you want to push hard and then try to follow. Or if you want to recall, let's say you have low HP, low mana, you want to recall. Or you have, let's say, 1300 gold for the item. Push and recall. Sure. Okay. But in this case, this is a little bit autopilot. Your default mode should be uh, not doing anything. Just, just not hitting at all. 
Because right now you see that your default mode is hey, let's hit them, let's hit them, let's push, push, yeah, push, yeah. push, push. True, but you give free farm to them. Eh? Yeah, yeah. That's the problem. Okay. Yeah, too easy for. And also, you're going to be very, very, uh, very gankable right here. Because you're very aggressive. Because instead of keeping the wave right here in this position, you're keeping the wave yeah. in this position. And if you want to farm yeah. those minions, I mean, the enemy jungle is just going to come. Gotcha. So be very careful with the, the wave management thing. Okay. Cool. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So we talked about uh, wave management. We talked about uh, matchups plus win conditions. Super, 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 super good. Okay. Good. You want to recall? Okay. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. So right here, you are like, hey, I have a lot of gold. I, I can get non quiver. I can go recall. Yeah. That's good. That's good. You're looking at it, and I appreciate that. But problem is that when you're recalling. Oh, it's not pushed. Exactly. The, first of all, the wave is not pushed, and then second of all, you always want to consider the enemy team when you're recalling. Like theoretically, yes, you have a lot of gold, and you also don't have mana, but you always want to compare yourself with the enemy MF. Does she needs to recall more than you? Does she needs to go base? Uh, like again, right now, or do you need to go recall as well? Because if you're very low HP and she's full HP, it's okay to recall. But right now, you guys are the yeah. same amount of HP. So there is no yeah. urgency to recall right here. Plus, you didn't really push the wave. Let alone the fact that right now is pushing the wave is pushing into you. So what happens if you recall like this? She gets to push it in, and then I get denied CS. Exactly. So yes, yeah. you got the non quiver, but right now if you lose completely the minions, because you're better Control. than this guy. You're better yeah. than this guy. But it didn't matter because you got the lead, and then right now you just lost it. Yeah, gave it back to him. Exactly. Exactly. So next time, what you should be doing when you're recalling, first of all, you want to make sure you have item, and right now you have item. But second of all, you want to make sure you're not losing too much minion, too many minions. So here okay. you want to be like looking at the wave. So you have to move your camera there. You have to be like, mm -hmm. hey, oh, wave is pushing into me, so I need to stay here and catch the wave. And after you catch the wave, you're like, hey, I have enough gold for non quiver. I want to recall, and then you want to push one fast, like push the wave fast, and then yeah. just recall instantly. <coughs> gotcha. It's big, big, big mistake. So here. We need to improve this one. So wave management. I thought it's a little mistake, so that's why I didn't really put uh, the exclamation mark. But right now, okay. uh, this one is, is definitely big. We need to improve it as sub. Next time, we work on this one. Okay, okay you go for the non quiver. Okay, one second, guys. I want to see what happens here. So here, you got a bit tunnel vision because you're going in the lane and you missed the cannon here. Yeah. But it's okay. No worries. This, this spike does the same mistake as well. Okay. <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay, so let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Let's see. Okay, you missed the cannon, no problem. So right now, uh, the pike goes in. So I want yeah. you to tell me if this is faker, if this is double lift, what is he using first? Option number one, Q. Option number two, heal. Option number three, chompers. So he's using the chompers to cut him off, I bet. Exactly. Probably, right? Exactly. And you also root him. <laughs> if you root him, he's yeah. going to lock. He's, he's going to be locked yeah. down, and polymorph yeah. can come. So yeah. here we should use the chompers first. And not the W yeah, because the W is just uh, slow, but just chompers. Like here, if you use that, he's dead and you get he's a freaking yeah. yeah. But Not I appreciate sure. that he didn't really chase here or like try to go after him. That was that was. So then cool. I started the drag there so they take damage. Okay. That was my idea there. Like oh. I saw him clearing a ward. So then I thought I'll hit the, the drag so he'll take damage. True, not bad, not bad, not bad. The problem right here is that you said that in the early game, the, the your job is to farm, to, yeah. to get your items, get resource, so, yeah. exactly, get resources. And right now we have two options. So we have the option to farm on the bot lane, and we have the option to go for Drake, try to you know damage them, Yeah. which is more important. The, the lane. The lane. So first of all, when you're moving like this on the river, you always want to make sure your wave is fixed. And by fixed, I mean you want to make sure the wave is crushed in the tower. You can say not. that, hey, this wave could be crashing into the tower, but no. is this going to actually crash? No. No, but why? Uh, the minion waves right at the tower. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Not so the concept fine. of the concept of hey, I want to hit the Drake to to make sure the Drake hits them. That's that's fine, but it's not good here. Yeah. Okay. If this wave is in the tower and you do that, completely fine. Sure. Completely gotcha. fine. But if you're prioritizing, if you're not prioritizing the farm, the free farm, to get the money and to get the, the win, and you're going for the Drake, then that's a problem. So this gotcha. is a mistake when it comes to the macro decision. So here, okay. 
the rule of thumb is you should never go to look you should never look to go on the river or ward or do something away of the bot lane a rotation away of the bot lane yeah. unless your wave is uh, pushed Crash. into the tower yeah. yes of course exactly. you can move right here or right here if it's a free kill like let's say pike is like 50 hp and you have a wave here you go and get the free kill and then you go on the wave and push it fast but yeah. unless you have a free kill you should always prioritize the wave very important because you stay here, do you lose? Yeah, you lose all of the wave. Yes, yes, yes. Because yes. it's not like you're strong, even if you're here. So you see how much time you actually wasted? You could have pushed. Yeah. And then and if then you went. push, you get the Drake, you win the fight, and they lose all of the minions on board. Because, of course, you crush this within the tower. So MF is losing everything. Gotcha. So if this is gold, and Jinx is smurfing, let's say she's a gold four player, MF lost the game here with this mistake. Okay. It's seven minutes. But, because but she's we're staying in the lane. In the lane. Yes, yes. Okay, it, okay, MF, okay. MF lost the lane uh, with staying at the Drake without pushing. Because gotcha. she does the same mistake. Like, if we talk about this, like, she's the same mistake. Like, MF, you have free farm on board. Why are you going yeah. at Drake? Your job is to farm. Yes, yeah. if you push this minion, it's fast, and then you go, that's fine. But you have free farm on board, and you just go for the useless Drake? Not good at gotcha. all. Not good at all. Gotcha. You're, you're farming, like, getting the resources is more important than getting Drakes. Okay. Super, 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 super important. Okay, let's see. So this is a macro decision. One second. So this is basically second thing that I need to work on. Okay, let's actually. So those are the bad, the the things I need to see. Good things. So your positioning is better than average player here. Your mechanics are better than the average player here. So there are definitely lots of good things. Also, your spacing, your ability of playing around your range is not bad. Definitely. So there are a lot of good things, but again, like the, the bad things are going to hold you back. So here, this fight, it was very coin flip because if you go for this fight right now, you got two kills. You yeah. got two kills, but you want to think about like, hey, I'm playing 100 games. I'm playing 100 <coughs> games in this one, and I want to get to diamond. From those 100 games, which of the decisions is going to win me more games? Going on bot lane, taking the free farm that that can never be contested, and farm, I will never yeah. take. Exactly, I will never die there. Or trying to go mid and maybe yeah, get a kill flip, or two. Right? It's yeah. a coin flip, right? Like right now, you yeah, you yeah. you will most likely win this game, but then next game you lose it because well, this decision it's 50-50. Like it's coin yeah, flip. Maybe I die, right? Yeah. Exactly. Maybe you just die. So right now you're shedding XP, staying on mid. Shouldn't rotate here. Shouldn't rotate yeah. here. Okay. So how much gold do you have here? Do you have enough for the gold? No, you don't. Okay. No problem. No problem. Problem. Uh, do you remember? So right now. Uh, do you remember what the Kraken Slayer uh, components are? Uh, yeah, every third auto. You yeah, do, you do true damage. Yes, no. So the, the components, the components. Like, oh, how do you build uh, it? Oh, uh, what do you? Uh, Nim cover. Nim, True. Uh, um, crit and then BF. True. Uh, non quiver, crit and then pickaxe. Pickaxe, yeah, yeah. Yes. So right now we have four hundred gold, and you bought a dagger. That's going to help you with the second item, but not with the first. I was thinking boots. I was thinking boots with the dagger. True, true, true. But, but you got two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Why did I get two? I That's don't know. the mistake. I don't know. I could have got the pickaxe. Yeah. Well, which you didn't really cost. have enough. You didn't really have enough because you had, you had 400 gold. So you can yeah. buy a dagger or you can, well, not buy anything. Like it's dagger or nothing. But the thing is, in this situation, it's better to not buy anything. Because back when you have enough of the pickaxe? Yes, because dagger okay. is for the second item. Yes, when you're going to get the second item, it's going to help you. But your first little power spike is Kraken Slayer. So by getting the, uh, the dagger, you're going to delay your power behind. spike. Yeah. And what yeah. if you go in lane and you die, and you're going to have in your inventory 600 gold? You still can't buy the 700, mm -hmm. the 800, and 80, 75 yeah. uh, pickaxe. Yeah, 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 so yeah. then if you have saved the money, then you will have the pickaxe. So, gotcha. in other words, you should never delay your power spike by buying items that help you, by buying components Later, that help yeah. you to build the second item. Instead of that, you should always go for the first item full, and if you don't have enough for the item, you should just wait and save money for that. Super, super, super important, because right now you're, you delay the power spike, and this, in this game, it matters, because you, this is going to be a close game. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, so let's see this, this hook. So, you got hooked here. Let's take a look. Boom. Okay, no problem, no problem. Because I use my W. Uh... Yes, use your W. No problem. You're close to your tower, so that's not overextended. That's not overextended. 
trying to push, 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 push. Trying to go with the mastery. Okay, so let's talk about this. So right now, uh, you push the lane, you go with the on the river with mastery. So remember when you're going for those kind of plays, this is not bad. I really appreciate, I really appreciate you that you're pushing the way first. Yeah. Super good, super good, super good. Right now, remember when you're making those kind of plays, you're bleeding, you're losing so much farm on both lane, and you can't restate really too much. You can't restate really for too long here. So you're trying to cheese, this is fine, but once the play is over, like right here, right here, go back to lane. Go back to lane. Yeah. Like this is too much. Like every time when you when you leave this place, like when you leave this area, you always want to you always want to 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 think about okay, I'm losing minis, I'm losing minis, I'm losing minis. Always think about the minis. So it's like you are living in account, you're living in in South Korea, and you're you're basically uh, staying very close to the to the border, to the margin of the country, and you know that if you go over that, you basically you might get killed. That's that's same thing here. Like this is the border, and if you if you get out of the border, like if you if you're trying to go into the another country, you can get shot here, and you can just die. So that's in league as well. Like once you got out of this place, be very careful when you're doing that. You only want to rotate out of this place if there is a free kill or free place on lane uh, on the river. Otherwise, free farm is free farm. Okay. Super, super, super important. Because here, the problem wasn't the rotation, because the rotation was beautiful. Pushed away if you go. Beautiful. Just but then right now, back. you're just chasing. Yeah. Hey, chasing. Yeah. Hey, let's get a kill. Let's get a kill. And then again, you lost another wave on both lane. And instead of having 90 farm in 10 minutes, you have 50 farm in 10 minutes. Okay. And the farm is the most important thing on, on the indicator. And it's not like you missed farm. You're a bad at farming. That no, you're not bad at farm. You it's just don't know. Lane. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Super, super, super important. Okay, I want to see this play. So it comes right here. Again, I'm using the cannon. I should be using the minigun. Exactly. And you're also panicking with the with the heal here a little bit. So this is the first mistake. So I like that you're using your E. I would use the E like oh, yeah. this. It's, yeah, it's better, yeah, right? I'm, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's okay. So the the big mistake is the the minigun. Uh, then then the lack and of the usage heal. of the minigun. Yeah, and then the the heal was a panicking heal. Yeah. Let's see what we're going to do after. So you flash, turn to recall, you go I, for boots. Was uh was Pike six there? Was that? Yes, he was six. But even oh, if so he that's what I was. I was yeah. So I thought he was uh he was gonna execute Master Yi. I thought. True. So right here, right here, the problem is not necessary, necessary the pike. The problem is that the the Alistar is is going on you, and oh, you know the yeah. Alistar spells, right? Yeah, yeah. He, he can pull you. He's got this fucking move here. Yeah. Yes, and he's going to pull you here. It's going to like knock you up. He, tr uh, he tried. Here. He tried, but you flashed beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So you didn't really flash necessary because of the, you were scared about the pike because pike. No, well, I I flashed because of his that charge thing. True. True, yeah. true, true, true. And that's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. <coughs> Perfect. And right now, let's think about it. So, exactly the same comes. So, you're recalling. <coughs> yes, you have some gold. You have the, the, the boots. But here, when you're recalling, you want to navigate to the camera and see what's going on. So, here, oh, what do you yeah. think about MF in relationship to your HP? Do you really, really, really need to recall? I didn't need to put... No, it, I didn't need to back. Exactly. Yeah. Don't need to back. I don't know why I did back. You should Again, push it and then back. Yes, right now you're backing because you're thinking, most likely from my experience, you're thinking, hey, I have the item in base, I want to I wanna back. Yeah. True, but if you can get an extra wave and have the item, I mean, it's even better. Because gotcha. like right now, we have 60 farm, so you basically lost, this is the second time when you do the recall timing mistake, you lost again yeah. another wave, so 14 minions, and then you lost six more, seven more minions because you did the rotation. Oh, shit. Then you did two rotations like that, yeah. so you basically missed another yeah. 14 minutes. So you basically lost 30 minutes just instantly, and it's, 10, it's 11 minutes right yeah. now. Yeah. Exactly, you could have 100, and 112 minutes, this is not even gold level, it's platinum level. Oh, let's go. So that, that would be... Exactly, slowly but surely, slowly but surely. Today we talked about the laning phase. Very, 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 very important. We're going to go step by step. So let's see what you're going yeah. to do in the later stages. So in the lane, I would give you, uh, let's say I would give you uh, 7.5. That's great. For, for uh, So 7.5 for bronze one. If you get if we get this to nine, you're basically silver four. Okay. Yeah. So that's basically it. Okay. Good. So how many how many items do you need uh on AD carry to be able to to do damage and you know group and... like 
three usually, right? So usually you want to get three to be able to carry. So getting the three items is fine, especially, especially because with three items you can do a lot of damage, you have to infinity edge. But if you FK farm until three items, well, your team is going yeah, to die way too yeah. much. Exactly. Gotcha. So that's why two items is the point when you should group. Okay. When you have the hurricane, so you get the kraken, get the hurricane. That's basically the point when you should group. I never get the hurricane. Should I be getting the hurricane? You're you're getting the rapid hurricane, right? Yes, yeah, you yeah, should yeah. get. So the build that I recommended to you is exactly this one. So uh, I know that high elo players in challenger they adapt it, but for now you are. Not a very experienced player, so I do recommend you to just simply go for this build. It's the best one, for low okay. elo by far. So the thing that you can change. Uh, so this is good. This is good. This is good. Uh, the, hmm, let me think. Are you an aggressive player? Not really. No, this is fine. The only thing that you can change is here. If they have tanks, you want to go for this. Okay. They cut down, and if they don't have tanks, you want to go for this. Very okay. simple. So this is the best page that you can ever go for, by the way. For again, for you, Rilo, if you were a challenger yeah, or other yeah, yeah. Rilo, then I would recommend you something else. But yes, I want to give you some some personalized coaching. So right here, do we have two items? No. No, so we shouldn't really go mid. Yeah. We should stay both far, 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 and get our items. Because if you go mid, I mean, it's not like you don't want to help your teammates because they are pushing, but you can't really help them. Like you can't yeah. really, you're not, you're not able to help them. You're not really yeah. having enough damage not to help them. Enough. Yeah. Exactly. If you compare yourself with the Alistar, with the Ilya, with you can't really kill them right now. Not only that, so Zix could have dodged that. Not only that, he could have dodged that. He flashes into the, into wall, the wall, and not only that, he's flashing into the wall. He's running even into you, so he's doing <laughs> like five mistakes. So that's why the the play works. <laughs> yeah. But but if you do this in silver, this is never going to work. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. He because... flashes through the wall and gets away. Then <laughs> yeah. my minion wave is in the tower, and then I lose yes. another fourteen. <laughs> another another minion wave, yeah. and and then you're shedding XP with the with the Anivia, and then again you're yeah. losing so much XP because the XP is shared on both lanes. So you're already behind yeah. the XP. If you go mid, you're even more behind. And then when you yeah. compare yourself with the Ilaoi, that is almost level eleven, and you're level eight. That's yeah. why some people think AD carry is a bad role because they don't necessarily know how to make those rotations. Yep. Exactly, and they're always behind in XP. Super important. If you don't have two items, no need to fight. No need to feel forced to to stay with the with the team or rotate. And you do have this pattern. I'll, I'll tell you from now. You have, do have this pattern to always use the range gun when you can use yeah, the the gun. It's a bad habit. It's a bad habit. No problem. Yeah. You're going to fix this very easy. Yeah, um, that'll be done next time you see me. Yes, yes, yes. It should be. It should be fine. Because you see that right now you're trying to kill Will away, but of course you can't because look at your damage. So let's actually identify your damage. So yeah, she's like level eleven this. here. This pissed me off. I was like, oh fuck. Let's see. So this is your damage. You do like fifty per auto. Like this is your damage. See, and she doesn't it's even have nothing, related. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. nothing so it, and she didn't doesn't even have damage. So she has two K gold. Wow. Imagine if she had used this gold. You do like twenty oh, damage fuck. per auto. Fuck. <laughs> This feels like you hit E and look at the damage. Like it's not there, right? Yeah. Super, super important. That's why that's why you don't want to group unless you have two items. Because yeah. it's not like you don't want to help. You want to help your teammate, but I mean, you can't. You're not you able can't. to. Yeah. Exactly. Not, yeah. Exactly. 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 Yeah, exactly. that sucked. Maybe that's why we lost that player yes. right there. Well, there are multiple reasons. So first is wave management in the laning phase. And you <sighs> you you did not prioritize farming as much as yeah. you. so this game was lost in like six sixth minute probably like that yeah. so if this game is gold you probably lost in like seventh minute but since he's bronze the biggest mistake was the the fact that he didn't prioritize the wave like you gotcha. you try to to make too many too many plays in the jungle and the second big thing is yes the rotations you did not have two items and you're still you're still staying with them so here we should simply go on the on the bottom the side bot, and farm yeah. because we don't really power. have you don't even yeah. have one. Well, one item super important and you see that right now you can go base and you can get the kraken if you have 625 gold but you don't have 625 gold because you bought this this dagger and this is basically holding you back so yep. exactly what i was saying with the delaying the power spike and then right now you stay here okay at least so this is what i have to do i want to see i want to see you doing this more louis mid but you're like hey i don't have two items i don't group very simple yep. i farm i get cracks i i farm so this is what I you should have done the whole game, but it's it's too late. Like right now, doing this seventeen minutes in game, it's too late. It's too late. 
So we need to work on the on the lane phase first before anything else. Very, very, very important. And then next time we're going to jump into team fights as well. We're going to go we're going to go step by step. So let me let me give you so let me let me actually analyze a little bit more of this gameplay because I want to see how you're doing in team fights. Okay. Good. 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 Go top farm. Sure, go mid. I really like this. You're like, hey, I want to go top and I want to farm, but no, 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 no. I don't want to share XP, I go mid. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful team. I, I really like this. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I was checking if the camps were there, but they weren't. True, but do you remember? So right now, remember that you're an AD carry. So you can yeah. very easily get caught right here. So you can you can try to uh, get waves, like staying bored, get waves, farming until two items, or you can evade. But you're Jinx, gotcha. when you're Jinx, when you're Jin, when you're an AD carry. The AD carry's job yeah. is not to evade, not to do you no know, crazy things. Gotcha. Super, super, super <laughs> important. So that's why we should have farm until two items. Okay, I want to see how you play this out. Okay, so you're going to fight. Do you put your E first? No, okay, you didn't I really gotta, put your I E here. Because no, okay. if you if you start with the E, the team fights, I mean, they're locked down they're and then you can there. do a lot. Yeah. Exactly, you're going to yeah. do a lot more damage. Okay, good. Okay, still still uh, not using the minigun here. You panic with the heal. Okay. Yeah, you're not really doing damage. Again, you're not doing damage for multiple reasons, but the main one is the, the fact that you don't have enough enough items and also uh well the reason why you don't have enough items is because you didn't refarm a lot and right now you're also having the bad build like the best yeah. build is the one with hurricane because okay. this build that you're getting right now is a very situational challenger build that people only use if they need the range so for example if you play against zerat play against uh, you know ezreal and you go for this damage so this item this oh, item yeah. gives you that little range right so it yeah is i just feel more comfortable with it right um like, yeah, I'll go Hurricane, but uh, my thought is like, oh, it's easier. You know, it's easier, right? Maybe it's true. I'm lazy, right? True, like, but like... true. That's true. It's easier to play with this one, but the thing is, on the long term, this this is going to develop bad habits for you because yeah. you're always going yeah. to feel the need of getting this item. And in addition yep. of that, you're basically trying to always get a, a get out of jail card instead of trying to fix that mistake of you not yeah. being able to know when to approach yeah. the fights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> that's uh that's but we're going to go again like uh for now for now there are other things that are more important than team fighting team fighting like if you don't play the first 10 minutes correctly really I, it doesn't matter if the you don't play team over, fights because yeah. the game is over right like it, they, there are yeah. no team fights i have players that are like diamond level in team fights and they're like silver level in in laning phase and they're hard stuck in you know gold four because okay yeah. you're diamond in team fights but i mean you lose every laning phase no one cares about mm -hmm. that yeah okay Good. So let's see. So I want to see how you play team fights. So right now you have two items. So theoretically, I see. Sh I should see you grouping. Is there any reason why you go for the the last whisper? Wait, the last whisper. The this, this item. Oh, because I couldn't kill that the fucking top laner. So True. I thought maybe True. I needed a uh, armor pen, but 100%. I was gonna build uh what what I forget what Lord it's called. Lord Dominic. Lord Dominic. Lord Dominic. Yeah, yeah, Lord. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's uh, fine. And because of them. The jungle too, but... True, true. Not bad, that's good. My question is, do you know the item called... Okay, I want to see this play before I ask you that, so let's see. So the long gun, the, the one that you like a lot? <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. And then, okay, so do you know the item called Mortal Reminder? Uh, that's anti-healing. Yes, right? and also yeah. anti-tank. Yeah. Right? So my question is, what's the difference between Lord Dominic's, if you know it, and mortal reminder. Uh, well, the second one has the execution, doesn't it? Execution. True, true. So it it is anti tank and anti heal, and, and this heal, one yeah. is only full anti tank, but it's better yeah. anti tank than this one. Uh, so my okay. question so is, I should have went mortal because she heals yes, so much. Yes, yeah, yes, true. yes, yes. She is the good thinker. So you didn't really get the correct runes. They didn't really no. cut down. You didn't really get the 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 items, the correct items. So it is impossible right now to to kill Ilaoi. Sure. Because those games are hard. This this game is not an easy game. So a silver player can never win this one. By the way, a gold four player can. But a silver one, an AD carry that is like main AD carrying gold can carry this with Jinx. It's quite easy because Jinx is very good in late game, and right now it's 
30 minutes, you have three items, you should you should be able to carry. But that's yeah, not an easy game. So very simple. So let's see the let's see the, the last team fight right here before we, we share some thoughts. If there is any last team fight, let's see. Uh, I think there's the last one here, it comes up. Okay. Your positioning is very good. Using the, the long gun, your positioning is very, very, very good. Okay, okay, so overall you're clicking pretty good in team fights. Not bad, not bad, but we need to work on the lane face a lot. Yeah. We need to work a lot on the lane, well, lane face, wave management, itemization. But the biggest focus that I need to have with you, a sub, a sub is where.